I visited the Style Italiano and the Dantex Congress here in Dubai and had a chance to talk with Saher about broken file removal with the BTR pen and how to use it. The podcast is supported by Sakamet. Have fun listening. Okay, welcome to today's show. I'm sitting here today with Sa. He just had a very nice BTR pen broken file retrieval course here in at the Style Italiano Congress in Dubai. Yeah, welcome. How are you? Good. <laughs> How was the course for you, Sa? Yeah, it was a great course today. We have more than 37 to 40 participants. We we had a great time. They all uh, learned how to remove broken files. They used the BTR pen in its correct way to remove it because you know the technique is more important to know how to set up the BTR in a correct way than try to use it. What are the typical mistakes you see in not setting the, up the BTR pen? Yeah, many, many mistakes. First of all, they don't place the notch, the metal notch of the needle inside the base on the pen. This is the first mistake. They place it outside or maybe in a wrong uh, wrong way so when they tighten the grip they broke it or maybe it's again outside this is the first one the second mistake maybe they are facing is that the needle when they close the grip they broke the the loop because they are closing the grip to the maximum you have to close the grip until you you feel that it is tightened a little bit then you can cut the rubber so some mistakes are already explained during the workshop and they, they were doing great. You always create some space with ultrasonics yeah. to, to, to grab the fragment. How much space do you usually recommend? Usually to be able to place the 0.3 millimeter needle with the 0.07 wire inside the, this needle, we need at least one millimeter space, at least. One millimeter in width and we need one millimeter in depth to be able to place the smallest uh, BTR bend needle. So at least one millimeter. What is your experience with the smallest diameter? Do you like this one or do you have any recommendation where we should Im go immediately for like the bigger one? Usually for 80% of the cases I use the yellow one, the smallest one. But sometimes the file is big, it's more engaged. So I need the bigger one. I use the gray. And if the gray cannot remove it, I will go for the, the biggest one, which is the orange. But unfortunately, when we are going with bigger size with the loop, we need to prepare more with ultrasonics because the, the bigger loop will not be easy to be placed around the broken file if you don't prepare. So we will lose again some dentin. I'm surprised that you like the smallest one. Actually, I would always go the opposite way. I kind of tend to use the biggest, <laughs> the, um, if possible, of course, the biggest one first. Uh, because uh, I use the smallest one first because I want to be conservative. Hmm. The biggest one first, maybe you have to remove a lot of dentin to, to, to be able to place it inside around the broken file, especially is that the needle is 1.0 millimeter, it, which is... 1.0 is big, considering the diameter of the canal. So it will block the orifice, it will block the vision. So imagine that you need to enlarge more to be able to see the broken file, the wire around the broken file, and to place the needle. So it's a little bit difficult to start with, with the biggest one, because you will remove too much. Maybe you can remove it with the smallest one. So I try with the smallest, if not successful with the medium, if not successful with the largest. And what does not successful mean? You try it and usually the wire breaks then? Yes. Not successful retrieval with the BTR band means that the wire is break. Okay. So when the wire breaks, that means two things. The file is engaged. So we need to have bigger wire, so more stronger wires. And also not only the file is engaged. And also, maybe we uh, use the PTR bin in a not correct way. Maybe the slider, we push the slider too much and we broke the loop. We have to tighten the loop under microscope. When we see that the loop is tightened, we stop pushing the slider more. Or we have to already set the slider blocker that blocks 
you from pushing the slider more. This is sensitive, mm. but it needs a big learning curve. And I can see on social media that many, many people started to use BTR Ben at the beginning, but then they are now mastering the technique because it's difficult only in the beginning. Then it will be like three seconds. You, you set your needle and BTR, and then you know directly where to put the loop and from where to cut the dentine and from where to engage the, the file. You will know all the details, but you need to try more, 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 more. I spent two years until now. I spent time for removal and also I spent time for preparing with ultrasonics because I want to be as conservative as possible because broken fire removal procedure is not an easy one. It is the most difficult procedure in our specialty, endodontics. It's the most difficult one. So you are at the top of the difficulties. You have a curved canal, you can shape it. You have a perforation, you can close it with MTA. You have blockage, you can open it with some files. You have ledge, you can bypass it. But to remove a file is the most difficult thing in endodontic specialty. Uh, yesterday you also had a lecture and I liked the fact that uh, leaving the instrument is always an option and just to observe it in cases where you probably won't retrieve it. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, sometimes we cannot remove. Sometimes we cannot bypass. Sometimes the case is telling you that I am going to the surgery. But okay, let's give it a chance before surgery. Let's clean very well. Let's obturate the fragment. And then we will follow up the case and see. Maybe we will have healing, despite that we have a broken file outside the tooth, or maybe one millimeter only inside the canal and three, four millimeters outside, over extruding from the root canal. Maybe we will have healing, because body response is amazing. But the root canal should be clean. Is there any study out there which shows us that how much less success we will have if we leave a broken instrument? Actually, there is no there is no precise numbers and percentage for the success rate if you leave broken file outside because you need a lot of cases with a lot of years for follow up to do such a study. But it's not present. But mainly, mainly, if the canals are clean, everything outside cannot affect. Gataberka files, everything cannot affect. But if we have failure later on, we have to do the surgery. Everything outside, I have broken files outside. I have got a berka outside. I have sometimes a sealer outside. It will not affect the success rate, but it will delay the healing. It will delay because there is irritation. It will delay the healing, but it will not prevent the healing. If the canals are clean, which is the most difficult part. Yeah, it's always the most yeah. difficult. Yeah. But coming back to the instruments, are you always trying to make them dance or are there situations where you think you can remove it with the loop technique uh, without the dancing file? Yes, this is the difference between loop technique and other devices. Other devices require to have dancing broken file in order to put the loop and remove it. For example, we, I don't want to mention some names, but we have many loop devices in, in the market. You have to do the instrument dancing, then you have to move it with the loop. In my opinion, if, if the instrument is dancing, I, I don't need a loop to remove it because it's dancing. I can remove it with, uh, with only a prop. Mm. If the instrument is engaged, yes. Here I need a correct device and a correct technique to remove it. So, in my opinion, in BTR bin, we don't need the instrument to be dancing. Okay, nice. No, no need. One thing was actually interesting, that which was not mentioned in your lecture. What uh, do, are you doing with sharp edges of instruments who might like uh, just break the wire before we even can engage? The sharp edges uh, during the preparation? No, the sharp edges of the broken instruments. For example, there are some cases I had where uh, I had a, s a sharp edge and while placing the wire over the instrument the wire actually kind of broke because of the sharp edge yeah yeah I, I now I understand if you have the correct space around the instrument when you insert the wire there will be no any problem but if you have a tiny space and you are inserting the water the wire with the sharp edge it will cut okay so the The correct space, the correct preparation is the key. Okay. Interesting. Actually, I managed the problem with something else. I actually like um, a sonic 
tip a little bit better for creating the space okay. and actually something for activation of the irrigation syringe is okay. called EndoCleanSet yeah, yeah. from a different company. The side effect of this tip is because it's a metal tip that all the sharp edges are rounded on the yeah. instrument. Sometimes we can do it if it's according to, to the technique and according to the, to the hands. With my hands, maybe it will work with ultrasonic, with your hand, with sonic, maybe the opposite. So if well, you find... Both in office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but sometimes it's according to the experience. But at the end, space, lube, grasp, remove. This is the most, uh, in my opinion, appropriate way to deal with the broken pipes. Actually, one thing is always, you also always mentioned that the wire is from Nitinol. I first would have thought that Nitinol is not the optimal wire because it's flexing a bit more. Yeah, I need, I need it to be flexing. I first thought it could be a drawback that it's flexing when I want to tighten it, uh, but I personally didn't experience anything uh, like any problems with it. No, uh, the, the, the concept that all people uh, is thinking that nitinol is flexible wire, it's not strong. And stainless steel is better for loop technique. But in reality, if you have stainless steel loop, it's like you have a micro tube technique because the loop is a straight very hard, not flexible, so you need to remove a lot of dentine in order to place it over the broken file. While if you have a nickel titanium, it's flexible a little bit and heat treated. I showed today many cases where I could place the loop even if I didn't prepare with ultrasonics, with oval cannons, hmm. because the loop, the wire is flexible, so I can push it a little bit. It takes the shape of the canal and go just behind the broken file without any preparation, just pushing the file and you can push it because it's flexible. When it's engaged, with it, when it's just engaging the file all around, you have to just close it and pull it out. So that's why nitinol is better in my opinion than sinus. I have to, uh, to play inside the root canal. If it is stiff, if it is strong, stainless steel, it's, it will be better for grasping, but it will be more aggressive because I need to prepare more for such a stiff wire. Actually, I also have a lot of loop devices like you have. For example, there's... Uh, Yushi, uh, Intoco Boy, uh, uh, frag, re frag Remover. Actually, I like the Frag Remover because of the 0.15 wire. Because in rare cases, I don't know why, sometimes I have my files break at the very head of the thing. Mm -hmm. And when we actually don't need any preparation, we just need some very strong one. And in this case, I like the, the, the Frag Remover. Frag yeah, the remover. strong one. Here we have, in BTR, we have the orange tip, the 0.5. It's a strong. And sometimes we don't need the preparation. For, for such strong uh, engagement, if you have space. In my opinion, we are compensating the strength of the stainless steel with the biggest wire of PTR. Mm. So the biggest wire of PTR is really strong. It can lift about 2.3 kilograms. So we are compensating the strength, but we are increasing the diameter of the wire with the nitinol. And once you have grabbed the fragment, you're using an up and down movement. Can you explain, uh, did you come up by, by yourself or? When I tried to remove the files from inside root canal, when I first catch the file from by BTR pen, then I close the loop and try to go out directly. I, I was not successful because we have two or three situations it will, it will happen. First one, maybe the loop will be broken. The second one, maybe the loop will slip off the broken file and it will go inside the, the needle, so you, you will lose the loop. The, the third one is maybe the needle, because you pushed a lot and you are just pushing, it will be it will be bent, and also you will lose the, the needle. So I tried not to bring it out directly, slowly, 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 up and down, up and down, because you need something to just disengage it. So if you are doing up and down motion slowly, slowly, Maybe it's better for uh, for the, the to start disengaging the the fluids around the loop, and then you can remove it. So up and down motion is coming from you are trying to just a little bit release the engagement a little bit. Then, tuck, hopefully, you, hopefully it will be out. 
Also one interesting thing which was not really mentioned today, who's actually placing the uh, wire in the BTR pen? Uh, are you doing it? Is your assistant doing it? Uh, yeah. I, I started doing it by, by myself and then after 10, 15 cases, she is now uh, a master okay. where to prepare my BTR. I just uh, I told her just BTR pen, she is placing it, she is closing the grip and she prepared the scissor for me. I cut the rubber. Okay, you cut yeah. it under the microscope. Yeah. And so how much time do you need for exchanging the tips? No more than 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. Yes. She, she, she will just release the grip, remove the needle, put another needle, close the grip. You should do a video of it. And make I a will, challenge will, out of it. I will, I will do. I will do. <laughs> make a challenge. Yeah, I will I'll, do. It's I'll, very easy. It's yeah. very easy. No, actually, that's compared, for example, to other devices, super easy. Yeah, and if you compare the, the technique of joining the needle to the to the bin or to the device with other devices, it's ridiculous. You have to work as an electrician. You put, we put the wire and then you, you, you do many, many things. And also the ergonomics of the bin is much, much more better than other, other devices because you can use your mirror and with the other hand you can just remove the file with the BTR bin. While with other devices, you need your assistant to close the loop. Here, you can just close the loop with the, with the slider. You need only your two hands. Great. Thanks for the talk, Tiasaya. Um, Thank you so much yeah. for uh, inviting me. <laughs> I am uh, happy to have an uh, interview with you. I always uh, be happy when I, I meet you. Okay, thanks. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.